Hey, welcome back to Rashley's Border Queue. I'm Randy, and today for the Wednesday Quickie, we're going to be taking a look at our Heritage Oven, the good one, Heritage Oven. It's got a little problem. Every time I get ready to use it and I come outside, I find this. What's wrong with this picture? Yep, she's leaning. The tires are constantly going flat. And it's frustrating because you get ready to use it. You got to go get the air compressor, drag it out here, air up the tire. I've tried using fix a flat. I've tried using different sealants, but nothing seems to work. Uh, so I decided to fix the problem pretty much permanently. I went to Harbor Freight and picked up one of these hand truck tires. It's a, uh, I never go flat. It's already foam filled. I didn't want to mess with trying to fill my tire with foam. It looks like a sticky mess to try to do that. So at the end of the video, I'll put all of the specs on this tire. I got it from Northern Hydraulics. Now I'll, I'll put all the specs of what you need in the correct size tire to perfectly replace the tires that were on the Heritage Goodwin oven. You're going to want a tire that has offset. See how the spindle on this side, or not the spindle, but the hub sticks out a little bit and on this side it's countersunk. That's called an offset hub. I'll put the specs for the axle size, the offset, the size of the tire, and uh, you can use those specs to buy a never go flat tire anywhere that you want to get it, but I'll also put the part number for this tire at Northern Hydraulics. I make no money off of it, not a sponsor video, uh, just for your convenience, I'll let you know what tire this was. So how do we replace it? Well, it's pretty easy. Let's take a look. There's a pin through the axle right here called a cotter pin that holds the tire on. All you have to do is take a pair of pliers, straighten this end up. It'll usually be bent and then pull the cotter pin out. Let me show you. The head of the cotter pin, I don't know if it's showing up well or not, is right here. This one will come out easy, but if yours doesn't, you may need a pair of pliers like this. Pull and wiggle and take it out. Once this end is straight, it becomes real easy to just pull the pin out and then just slide the tire off the axle. If the axle's rusted or painted, you may have to sand this end of the axle a little bit before the tire will slide off easily. I've got a piece of firewood I'm going to put under the frame here to hold it up. And then remove the tire. Make sure this washer remains in place to give a little more room for the tire against the frame. Make sure the hub, the offset hub, is toward the frame and then just slide it into place. Then reinsert the cotter pin through the hole. It's split in the middle, sometimes it's called a split pin. Just grab one side of the split and bend it out a little bit to keep it from falling out and your tire replacement's complete. Then we're just going to remove the wood. And our replacement is complete. There you go. We've already done the other side. So now I don't have to worry about flats on my Heritage Goodwin oven anymore. Thanks for watching the Wednesday Quickie. Click like, subscribe, and we'll hope you all tune in this weekend when we do a longer video.